So, we played this a couple days ago, but I have to play this again because I've got so many emails and so many people loved. It was Father Rob singing karaoke, as the kids like to call it. Father Robert Kegron, priest in the order of Melchizedek, the way we understand it, validly ordained. Here he is singing. She loves the moon. She loves the moon. She loves the very things. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> That's terrifying. You really don't do better than that. And uh, proof of that, again, this is this is my life. These are our listeners. <laughs> this is all karaoke during a cruise on, a on pilgrimage. <laughs> oh, hang on. I got a phone call. <laughs> I got to answer the phone. Billy in Kentucky. Hey, Billy, how are you? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> It's not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> <laughs> what, what can you do? You know what? You know what Billy likes to do? She loves the moon. <laughs> she loves the moon. <laughs> My daughter said it sounded like um, finding Nemo, like maybe he was talking to the whales. <laughs> Trying to call them in. He uh, certainly hit some notes that we didn't expect. Is that fair to say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like y'all had a great time, though. There's so. nothing more impressive than Father Rob. <laughs> I can promise you that. The only thing that really does make it stranger is the exact spot where he was on this cruise ship singing karaoke was the discotheca. And the next uh. day we had mass uh, because we didn't have mass <laughs> at a church that day. We had mass on the ship in the discotheque, and even he had to acknowledge well, at the beginning of his homily, he said, this is a little different. This is Shad wrote me saying, Father Rob singing just scared the crap out of my dog. This is for better or worse, and I don't really have an answer for this, what we do on pilgrimage. And, you know, last year we went on uh, pilgrimage to Italy, and Catholic News Service had written a story about us. And considering Catholics have been doing pilgrimages for 2,000 years, you knew you are doing something right or wrong when they write an article about your pilgrimage. <laughs> Not only Breaking that, news. it was the second most popular story of the month, of their most viewed stories. The Pope beat us, and then the Pope was number three, four, and five. Number two in Catholic news stories of the, of the world was the Catholic guy pilgrimage to Italy. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it. But one thing, one thing I will say, and of course this is this I believe is applicable to people regardless if you were on the pilgrimage or not, is in many ways this is what it means to be Catholic. And what I mean by that is, we are people who pray, we are people who we be- who believe, but we are also people who live life to the full. Jesus says, "I have come so that you may have life, and you may have it to the full." And we are doing our best. And this is this is what life is supposed to be about. And many people think to be Catholic to believe in God, to be serious about your faith means to be serious all throughout your life. And, and you know, I would never say this to his face because Father Rob, uh, I would never want to, you know, 
encourage him. Encourage him and encourage this type of wild behavior. But at the end of the day, a Father Rob priest is going to encourage vocations to a great degree in the sense that this show encourages people to go to church again and encourages people to go to the sacraments again because taking faith seriously doesn't mean taking life seriously. She loves the moon. She loves the girl. She loves the very things. Oh, no. You can <laughs> be serious about faith and believe everything the church teaches and still go out and have your drinks and and have your karaoke and scare everybody on a cruise ship. Oh, people were I mean people knew his name by the end of the trip. That was even scarier, Maureen. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it. But that's what that's what Catholicism is about. God became man. It is an incarnational faith that we experience, that we share, that we have. And so the very concept that in the daytime we can visit sites like uh, Potmos, where John wrote the Book of Revelation. We can visit the the places where Scripture came from in many ways. And at night we can still go out and have fun. All night. <laughs> All night. Deacon Tony in New Jersey. Deacon Tony, how you doing? Hey, how are you, Lino? <laughs> you got to put a medical disclaimer on this because one of my one of my fellow soldiers here at Fort Dix is an epileptic, and we were listening to the radio show. I asked him, "Are you all right?" Because he wigged out on me, and I said, "You okay?" He goes, "No, I'm not feeling too good." So what happened? You were all right all day? He goes, "I don't know. Something about that song. Something about that." <laughs> He's actually on his way to the infirmary right now. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Oh, I'm not kidding you. you got to put a medical disclaimer on that. Father, if I don't... If or anyone that suffers from seizures, please kindly change his patient at this time. I don't even want to laugh at that. I don't want somebody to have a seizure on the show. <laughs> no, Maureen, Maureen, knock it off. Quit so, we're putting people in shock. Phyllis just emailed me saying my her cat is in shock. <laughs> This is not well. This is not how to treat our military. This is not how to treat our soldiers. Those <laughs> serving our country. Is he really in the infirmary? Hey, he's on his way to the infirmary right I'm now. Horrified. And it really is from Father Rob singing. Yeah, I asked him. I said, "You already? Right? Because I don't know. It's, 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 it's not feeling good. It's all right." Aww. This is not, Maureen. Do not play that anymore. Really? Yes. I don't want to no, knock it off. I don't want to hear this anymore. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want more medical situations occurring on this show. Do you understand? Well, she loves the moon. Deacon Tony, I thank you for the call. I apo- please uh, give my sincerest apologies to your friend. He loved your show. He says, "Hey, listen, it's a funny tune, no matter what." <laughs> it's worth going to the infirmary for. Thanks for the call, Deacon. You got it. All right, bye bye. Catholic Guys Show, as always, Father Rob Kegron. Fascinating. On pilgrimage, fascinating in real life. He's like a superhero. Paul in Ottawa. Hey, Paul, how you doing? Uh, uh, just, kidding. just wanted to say, as if we didn't have a hard enough time taking him seriously before this. Like, <laughs> now we're not going to be able to listen at all on the show anymore. <laughs> no, this is my whole point. You can still take him seriously as a priest. It's... The fullness of the priesthood, the fact this guy believes all that the church teaches, is faithful to the church, believes. By the way, you want to hear something even crazier? In this very discotheque on the boat, and I'm not even kidding around, the next day and even the day before that, he was hearing confessions of, the, of course, the listeners on the trip, not because they were you know, swearing after hearing him singing or something, but people would go to confession. I, a listener even told me probably the strangest place she ever went to confession was in the discotheque. <laughs> I mean, there wasn't dancing and singing. It was in the morning. It was completely open. They had made it into a chapel for our you know, Catholic needs. But So in the morning, this place was a place of holiness and a place where mass was offered and and at night he was singing Kenny okay this is a real priest paul i i understand that i just want to let you know that the next time that he's on the show i am calling and requesting this song again tune in tomorrow when father rob is in studio <laughs> and i promise we'll play a clip paul thanks for the call all right uh we'll let david in indiana have the last word hey david how are you 
Dino, I'm dying here. I'm driving a tractor trailer, and I'm struggling to keep it on the road. I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, that's what Father Rob does. That's the service he provides, is does he not? But here's my question. He, did, he does. I love him to death. I want to know one thing. Did he use his real name, or did he go by Timmy? <clears throat> He did go by. Lino hates this. For those longtime <laughs> listeners who listen, Father Robin, we've never gotten an explanation to why, he loves the name Timmy. Uh, when he goes to Starbucks and orders a coffee and when they say your name, please, he goes Timmy because he thinks it's so funny later on when they go Timmy and he picks up his cup of coffee. I don't know why this is funny to him. On the boat, this is true. We were on this boat for four of our like eight day pil- nine day pilgrimage. Four of these days was on a cruise ship. And uh, he did go by the name of Timmy during the karaoke. And yeah. people on the boat only knew him as Timmy. And in, in fact, many people, including as we left the ship, the employees, Maureen? I, this is absolutely true. Backed me up and says, bye, Timmy, bye, Timmy. They all knew him as Timmy because the only time, obviously, he was dressed as a priest was when offering mass. He has the whole chasuble, the whole thing. But they didn't see us during the day. They only saw us at night, most of these crew members. Oh, if they saw us during the day, they would be very confused. <laughs> like, isn't that the guy? David, an excellent question. Uh, uh, drive safely and, of course, call anytime. God bless you, brother. God bless you, brother. <laughs> right on. Well, <laughs> Timmy lives. You've been, Lino's been trying to beat that down forever. I, I have tried to avoid this whole Timmy <laughs> phenomenon. Timmy Gate. I, I, I have to acknowledge it was funny, and a, a great number of people on the cruise ship all knew him as Timmy. For better or worse, I will say they knew him as Timmy. But at the end of the day, I will I will stand. I you know Father Rob and I are good friends. We drive each other crazy. But I will say, in terms of the priesthood, uh, I congratulate him for it because I think it makes faith come alive, realistic, not just for the listeners uh, who were on the trip with us, but anybody listening to the show right now. When your priest takes his Catholicism seriously and his singing not seriously. She loves the moon. She loves the moon. You got a winner. Ha, <laughs> 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 has been cruising with Lino. No, no, no. Cruising with Lino. No, no, no. I'm sorry, Lino. I had to do it. Not, that's so perverted. It's not cruising with Lino. We were on a cruise ship, but I wasn't cruising. Thank you. All night! All night!